I'm back from an unexpected break. I feel fine now, just to give you a clue. I am so glad to be here. I'm Ruth, and this is my channel, Get Sewing and Quilting Done. And in the middle of making uh, my daughter's wedding dress, that was before I got ill, I had to uh, have uh, a brand new dress form. What happened is, is it broke, it was very old, and I needed a new one really fast. And my husband was nice enough to buy a new one, and it's really good. It's much better than the old one uh, that was close to 20 years old. So we're gonna take a good look at uh, how I put on the breast. Because if you see, it's not very much breast is there. Starting off, you need the right tools. Some of them hacked, some of them aren't. Of course, you need the basic measuring tape. Can't get by without that. I've added on a different kind of measuring tape. It's called the Soda Grow. I really enjoy using it. It is not instead, it's an addition. I will demo it, but it's really good for measuring yourself or giving to somebody else to measure themselves and uh, giving the measurements. You can't use it instead because it doesn't start with zero. The next uh, thing that you want to have is a bra. Now I'm showing you my bra, but I adjust the bra on the person. For this case, this time it's myself. And uh, you can either pin it in or glue it in, or if you're not worrying about it moving around, it's no problem. But you want to have it adjusted before you put it on. It makes life a lot easier. Then we have the bra inserts. These, This is another hack. And I use those. A, they're basically bra inserts and I use them to fill up the bra along with filler. So it's really important to have these. You could use one or two or three or layer it like I do, and I'll show you how I use them. And they're, they're a must for enlarging the bra. Then there's this little uh, bralette, I think it's called. I'll go with that. And it's really important. It is a hack and it does get damaged quite a bit because it's not made to have pins in it. So when there's a lot of holes, uh, like there's already one hole in it, for making my daughter's wedding dress, I went through two, this was the third one. I wait till it has quite a few more holes before I change it out because I use them up so much. Uh, not so much on my projects, but for other projects I do. Uh, and I do have extra ones, so always around, so in case I need them. The next a thing is the filler. You need filler. And uh, it fills in all the extra spaces and uh, especially if you only use one insert or two inserts, then you'll even need more filler to shape it correctly. Uh, the next thing that I use, uh, I always have on hand, I just recommend not throwing it away, is the manual. Because the manual is really important for adjusting the length in case you forget because you hardly ever do it. I had to adjust it for myself versus my daughter. I already set it up to fit my size. Be nice, okay? I know I'm in my 60s and my waist is going. But I've already pre-set it up. It's very easy to do. But this won't work for me. And uh, I've developed a system and I just want to teach it to you. I, we've got into the important part of uh, getting the work done. As you can see, I'm measuring something. I am measuring from apex to apex, the fullest part of the breast. I'm not going to demo how I did it on myself. You could, I already have done it on myself. And I want to make sure that that matches. The rest of the uh, pieces have already been done, but that isn't. So I actually have made it, I've had to make it a little bit uh, smaller. And which means I have to readjust the rest of it. So now I'm remeasuring it and now it works fine, but I have changed the measurements around underneath. Above, it's pretty much stayed the same. I'm going to make it uh, larger a little bit in the back and a little bit in the front, and then I am going to check to make sure that I do it correctly. I did it correctly. And as you can see, right there underneath is uh, where I'm going to measure it. I'm using this so it, it hooks up and uh, to make sure. Now I should be moving that thing on the side, but I wanted to demo it for you because usually it should go around the curve. And now the above part I measured, I double checked, and now I can take it apart and I put on the bra. Once the bra is on, now it's time to fill it with those inserts. Now if you take a look at the insert, 
You could see in the inside, it's something to kind of push up the bosom, which of course isn't necessary because this is a mannequin. So I put it at the bottom, the first layer, and the second layer, I use it to give it more shape. I do it on the side. So I'm doing it on the side, so it just gives it a little bit more shape. And the third one I'm showing you, I accidentally put it in uh, all going the wrong way, and I quickly corrected it, because you want to make sure you do it right. Uh, so when you're fitting your stuff, everything is working. Now you can see this just doesn't have enough filler in it. Now I'm beginning to use the filler. And there I go, I kind of smudge it around, it's kind of tedious work make sure it fits right, I move it, I flatten it out, I make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to, and when I'm all done, that's it, it's shaped. And I do a last minute work. Okay, now I'm putting on the bralette to keep it all together, because this is kind of fragile, the way it's stuck in. And this keeps it uh, in shape, and you can see, uh, that this that's the part that gets all the pins in it when you're working when you're making the adjustments and things like that and that's why it goes through a lot okay it doesn't uh look that good you can see the holes still there but when you're actually getting work done that's fine but when i'm doing something else you know how it is you're doing other things in uh your studio you're quilting you're sewing you're just hanging out you don't want to see something that doesn't look that nice. So what I do is I cover it when not in use and I showcase something. So you can see right now, this is what it would look like. And I'm showcasing it with a blouse for the summer because of going into the winter time. All right, we have gone to the end. This looks so much nicer. And of course we have the under part. It is so important. That way the darts are the right length in the right place, everything is correct and uh, measured, and you don't have a problem of having to go run around and get it uh, um, something that's professionally made that can cost thousands of dollars. And this is a really good system, and it's very useful if you have more than one person using the uh, dress form. The dress, the dress, dress, dress form, I really love. All right subscribe hopefully i'm back and i won't get sick again and uh i'll have regular videos coming out especially about quilting because i really missed being in my studio when i was sick and i also missed being with my family all right bye